I want to allow and introduce, uh, we're so honored that uh, Sri Raja, Rajaram is joining us today from the Indian Consul General in New York. He's come all the way down to provide closing remarks. So, Swagatam, sir, thank you so much for joining us and welcome you to the podium today. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm sorry that I could not uh, join this event uh, since the beginning in the morning. Uh, but anyway, thanks a lot, all the organizers, Amy, USIBC, and the all other partners of this event for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to interact with you. Uh, let me just introduce myself. Uh, I'm Sugand Rajara. Uh, I'm a diplomat, uh, not trade expert or legal expert. I have had some experience uh, during my diplomatic tenure for the last uh, 15 years uh, while roaming from place to place throughout the world uh, with regard to particular issues of uh, trade, investments, but uh, basically I'm a political guy. Uh, uh, I started my career from uh, Russian Federation 15 years back and then uh, moved on to the neighborhood, was handling Sri Lanka during the, the last war period and then moved to uh, Southeast Asia where I was uh, looking after uh, the bilateral relations with Indonesia and India ASEAN. And in that capacity, I have had experience with, uh, with India ASEAN FTA and introduction to the most of the trade issues. Uh, then I moved to uh, US. I finished my tenure here. In fact, I'm, I'm way out. And thanks a lot, Amy, in fact, uh, uh, because uh, when I was first approached, I could not confirm my attendance here, but uh, in any way. Uh, thanks a lot for this opportunity. Uh, you have uh, all these experts in various issues with regard to doing business with India and the India-US uh, business space. Uh, they have given you the exact, you can say, the specifics, the ground realities. I have always, whenever I have been approached throughout my day one in the, in the uh, uh, international relations, uh, I have always advised to, to uh, have the uh, uh, due and diligence with, with the ground realities. So these experts must have given you the, the, ground, the, the various, various aspects of the ground realities. Because many times people, people are always upbeat or they are sometimes pessimistic out of no reason uh, about, the, about the actual situation in that particular uh, system or the country. And uh, because for the last three years I'm here and I have, from the day when I have been confronted with lots of these perception issues, they always say that, yes, uh, what's happening in India? This, this, they take some, some specific <coughs> with regard to some sector in the economy. And these experts definitely must have already given you some insights into, as Amir said, IP laws, various, various tax issues. Uh, which, we, yes, we, we take these issues with, at the uh, government to government level. Uh, and go into the specifics uh, with the with the uh, corporates. We try to solve and resolve resolve these issues satisfactorily. But I'm here to like go beyond this to to have some kind of a, uh, create rather infuse a lot of more uh, uh, optimism uh, uh, into your minds with regard to doing business with India. Uh, This, this, the topic uh, such as this is usually an invitation to uh, recount either the good, better, and the best, or sometimes what I have observed in the last uh, two, three years here because of the certain issues back in India, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because I have always, uh, when, whenever people have confronted me, when I used to tell them that these are, these are the good things which had happened in the past, these are the better things what, which are happening now, and this is the best we are looking at. But they, they will always go into the other side. They'll say, no, these are the issues that, that, that that's are not happening good. So bad and the ugly issues they will mention. I, I used to, in fact, uh, take the help of many of the experts and highlight what are those issues. Uh, but uh, I'll avoid uh, that risk of forecasting the future and going into those uh, these issues. But I need to need not elaborate on what happened and what is happening in the in the Indian economic or the business scenario. However, I cannot but reiterate uh, just two points. Uh, the first of these is that the business scenario transformation in India 
has been uh, truly extraordinary with regard to the US. Uh, just one example to illustrate this transformation. The American firms now are working to build nuclear power plants in India uh, using the US nuclear technology. Could you imagine this, say, 15 years back? So this is really a, a, a commendable transformation with regard to the overall policies, the strategic policies, which have opened new ways for the doing business in this India-US sphere. Uh, the second point is that the transformation has been very rapid and working at all levels. Just last 10 years, 10 or maximum 15 years, we have achieved so much. Uh, and, and at all the levels, from government to government, business to business, people to people. So, uh, and the result is today we have more goods and services trade with American firms than with most of our uh, other partners. So we import more American cultural products than from anywhere else and our bilateral technological engagement is more intensive with the US than with any other country. So this is really, uh, uh, we can say, the transformation which we had not imagined a few years back. Uh, now the importance of this transformation uh, is that, uh, and this is particularly for the business community, is that it's very much pertinent for the business community that they take this opportunity uh, for their advantage. And uh, um, uh, with, with this, we have already seen these positive trends uh, for the far, pa past few years. And uh, uh, with these positive trends, which are driven by uh, businesses primarily, uh, who recognize the exciting and potentially game-changing opportunity, uh, opportunities before us today. Uh, there is a realization that in this process, the leading role is of the private businesses uh, so this, this realization, I mean, at the government level, at the policy side, because everybody says that whether the governments uh, understand their role. So this is, this is the realization that at, at the uh, government level, at the policy level in India, uh, we know that there's a leading role for the private businesses to play in the business sphere, along with the regulatory and standard setting role of the government, in addition to its facilitatory role that we uh, usually do. Uh, so the action is with you people, the people, uh, the businesses, uh, the, uh, with the government on the side uh, to step in wherever needed. So in this regard, I must say that, uh, now, I don't know whether you have been briefed on uh, the, the, or whether the, the, the uh, issues were there uh, for today's discussion, what are the future opportunities for, for the uh, doing a business with India in terms of big up investment opportunities, uh, as we see defense, energy, clean and green technology, education, and the new technologies, particularly the biotech, nanotech, and so many other technologies, are strategic openings for the US uh, to invest in the future of India. Now, again, going back to those issues, uh, I'd, I'd be doing a disservice to you if I mentioned that uh, the, the road is free of potholes uh, as we may wish it to be. Uh, this is where that those bad and ugly, ugly part comes. Uh, uh, there is today a degree of negativity among some sectors of the business on both the sides. I'll not mention the specific issues. Those issues must have been already uh, discussed with you by the experts. Uh, while there are always specific concerns or the specific reasons for irritation among particular sectors, perhaps some of the negativity also emerges from the pessimism about the growth and uh, economic prospects. Policy choices and legislative measures sometimes also add to a sense of alarm, uh, but policy measures can be fixed and sentiment does change. So I think most of these issues you must have seen with regard to the policy changes where people say, what is happening with regard to the policy in India? Uh, and this is all, all uh, perception issues. Uh, an overall sense of confidence, long-term interests, and opportunities should in inspire us to look beyond short-term difficulties. And let us recognize that trade and economic cooperation must be about more than finding fault with each other's policies. You people in the business have a role to play in this context. We must find ways to work more closely together as India invests in building new industrial ecos ecosystems. Our public and business Businesses uh, see U.S. partners as preferred and sought after investors. So, the U.S. investors have 
larger role. They have the flexibility, they have the preferences in India. In the end, I hope that you have got what you are searching uh, with regard to exploring numerous opportunities of doing business with India from all these experts. I wish you all the best in these efforts. Thank you for your attention.